Hey there, everybody. Arlo's here from Ice Game, bringing you episode 9 of my Guild Wars 2 Ranger Let's Play. So, first off, I just want to thank you guys uh, for a couple of the comments you guys have been giving me. So, uh, especially, what was it, uh, 797 and uh, uh, Lestheria? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but you guys, you guys have been super awesome. Uh, especially, uh, you guys, you know, let me, let me know some things, uh, especially with the... Uh, the items I got so apparently these boots here so like I can upgrade them uh, so it's got an unused upgrade spot so I gotta make sure that uh, I remember to put something in there um, to make my boots a little bit better I think that would be a super super awesome uh, also uh, I've got this luck stuff here so I already did it a, a couple of my other characters that had some of the luck I've got a I've got a character, one of my, I think it's like level 3 or something, my first character I played. Uh, I've just been using them to grab the daily items. Uh, but if you use the luck, uh, this essence of luck stuff, um, it'll actually improve your magic find. Um, so let's see if we can get that up a little bit more here. And that's for your entire account, which is kind of cool. Um, so if you guys watched my necromancy, you know... Uh, it didn't go up this time, but I think I started at like 20-something with the Necromancer, and it's gone up to 32 now, which is awesome. Uh, also here, um, oh, got another Tomb of Knowledge here. So Tomb of Knowledge, essentially it bumps you up a full level. Um, so let's see, I can go from level 14, 17 right now if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm just saying, say I get stuck or, you know, I'm a little behind. If you guys remember, if you guys ever watched my Necromancer, I was behind by a couple levels. So I've got uh, something there to keep me uh, keep me occupied there. And uh, you also let me know I should actually open up these uh, chests here. The black lion chest. So I have a key for a black lion chest. So uh, if I right click and preview, uh, it lets me know what I can get out of it. So there's some cool things. Like these look like they're all like just skins. So I can transmute my weapons to look kind of cool. Uh, I've got some little things like oh, permanent bank access. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, oh, so what that is, is instead of uh, bank access express, I can get permanent bank access, which uh, allows me to, to use my bank whenever I want to. Okay, stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, some different uh, self-style kit, stuff like that. So let's, uh, let's actually open this up and see what we get. So let's double click on this. So we're going to get the dab of destabilized ectoplasm. So it gives me a couple items, I believe. Um, let's see. So I got... This item will be randomly selected upon opening, same as this one. So let's open it up. Hopefully get something good. Oh, all right. Let's see what we got. Um, so I got the ectoplasm things. I got the transmutation charge, which is okay. Okay with that. And tiny miniature egg. This egg contains one random mini from set one, two, or three. Minis are tiny models of your favorite monsters and characters from the world of Tyria. Minis can also uh, be used as components for mystical forge recipes. So let's close this. What, and what's this here? Oh, a uh, letter from Kate. Uh, gain 50 luck there. There we go. So now I gained 50 more luck. I leveled up my luck. So plus 35 magic finds. So that'll help me find uh, better items in the world. So double click to receive one transmutation charge. Uh, that'll be here. I believe I've got a dies or wardrobe. I can't remember which one it is. That fits, maybe? Um, uh, nope. Where is... I know it usually pops up here. Um, why am I trying... Having so much fun... Oh, well, we'll find out later. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll open this, see what we got. So I've got some... Six gobs of ectoplasm. And a gob of glue... Gob of goo, sorry. Can I... Oh, no, this is a trophy. So that's something I sell. Uh, let's deposit all materials. Let's uh, let's open this and see what kind of mini we got. Ooh, mini Storm Imp. Collectible. Double-click to summon this miniature to follow you around. Only one miniature can be used at a time. So let's double-click on that. Oh, puppers, you're in the way. Let's move over here. Oh, okay. So it's like a little mini pet. All right. Uh, there you are. Oh, look at you. Look at you, you're so cute and little. Uh, bring this over here. And I believe that unlocks for my other characters too. Um, let's see, miniatures. So I've got some in my inventory. 
Is that? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Maybe not. I know these ones are unlocked for my my other characters. Maybe they aren't. Scroll down here quickly. No, I don't see anything else. So, okay, cool. So, um, kind of fun. Little little pets is gonna follow me around. So, uh, to get to the real meat of this episode here, guys. And again, again, I just want to take uh, a moment to thank uh, uh, Lysenthia. Lysenthia. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, I apologize. Let me know. Let me know exactly phonetically how to pronounce it. And uh, seven nine seven. Thank you guys for leaving some comments. Let me know how that works. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, someone else learned something from that. So I was worried that. Um, that those uh, black chests or black line trading company chest things would be like, oh, I have to wait until like I'm level 80 in order to get uh, good items and stuff out of that. But you can open them up whenever you want to, which is awesome. So we're just going to head over here. There's a point of interest here. So I'm going to head here. See if we can uh, do that. So again, we're just uh, kind of exploring. We do have to get to level 20 before our next uh, personal story the mission. There we go. So we got uh, this... Kar Karami Scouts. You guys are looking pretty awesome. Oh, wouldn't these guys be a cool race to play? To be like a bird guy. Man. Guys that make guild wars, you gotta get it on that. Gotta, we gotta get some more uh, more characters to play as. More different races. Um, let's see here. Let's sell. Sell junk. Yeah, it's one of our junk items. Level 10 armor. Is this better than anything I have? Nope. How about level 15? Nope. I have some pretty awesome armor. And hopefully that'll get better with my magic find up. I do have, like how all the races are, are mixing already. Not not mixing, but uh, like these guys are showing up. These uh, Asari. I believe that's what they're called. The Silvari. Uh, the race that I am. You know, it's kind of cool. Got some humans running around too. Well, let's take a look around here. So we got a head. Uh, up north here. It looks like there's a scout here. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. There's some hearts over here. Uh, go ahead this way. Go the right way. Go this way. There's hearts this way. I almost met out, missed out. I was going to just head north. But, uh, oh, and I missed a whole area down here, too. Well, that's somewhere I need to get to. Where's the closest waypoint to there? Um... What level are you? You're level 10, so let's do that. Let's head down to this waypoint, and then we'll run up to grab that waypoint, grab these areas, and stuff like that. So uh, let's do that quickly. Bloop. Bloop. So again, if you guys are liking what you see, make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. Uh, leave me down a comment. It really does really does make my day. <laughs> Although, like, I'm loving this game. Also, apparently there are world bosses in, uh, in Guild Wars 2. I haven't, I haven't seen one yet, but... Uh, if I'm if I'm ever around one, uh, let me know, guys. Um, I'm definitely okay with like waiting around until one spawns to start recording, or or start recording and wait for one to spawn before we uh, we start talking or before I start talking and stuff like that. Because I think I think that'd be a lot of fun. I know Star Wars oh, Old Republic has had world bosses like that before, and uh, they've been fun to take down. They've been tough to take down, um, but uh, it can be fun. So I'd love to get uh, get uh, into the, some of that too. Uh, that's a big ass mosquito. I'm gonna. Oh, there's one over here too. Let's let's just take him down. Come on, go puffers, go puffers. You are the best puffers. You're my hero, buddy. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the jungle Groot. I wanted to hit the mosquito. There we go. Boop. Go invisible. No one can see me. <laughs> oh, also, um, just to let you know, you're also letting me know that. Apparently there are the way to get pets is you actually find them in the wild somewhere. Um, definitely excited to find them. Apparently they, they there's little they're miniature ones and they're green. You said they have a tame option when you get close to them. So I'm gonna do my best to see if I can find any of them. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure where they would be, but uh, hopefully I can find some around the world. I might do some. Uh, online searching for them now that I know that that's how you, you get them. So thanks again, guys, for, for letting me know what's going on there. All right. We got the waypoint here. 
And there's something else. There we go. There's a point of interest. Merchant supplies. I got this already. Hero point earned. Hero point earned. Ooh, I believe I have some extra hero points. I've got six left over right now. Um, flame trap. I'm not too worried about that. Scout. Guard. Order your pet to guard nearby allies. Your pet takes damage on behalf of those allies. Uh, gain protection and break allies out of stuns. Your pet talks the next foe that attacks you. Okay. Uh, your pet teleports a downed ally within range to, to you and begins reviving them. Grant uh, regeneration to nearby allies. So that's kind of good for if you have a group and stuff going on. Uh, I'm kind of really kind of waiting, waiting for this stuff here. But uh, let's see what else we got. Um, let's bring a healing. Let's just grab some healing ones. Get the first little one of each. Just, uh, just in case I want some different healing options. This me has two unspent points. Don't think I can use... Oh, I can use points on these. Uh, so sharpening stone and bleed phones for the next few attacks. Um, summon a sun spirit that grants allies a chance of inflicting burning. Ooh. That's tempting. Burning would be fun. You know what? Let's do... Let's grab that one. Just in case I find some... some Peoples that might need some burnings. Take down these awesome spiders. Well, I mean, they're not awesome. I mean, they are kind of, they're kind of cool. But let's take them down. Nope. Get further away so I do more damage. Keep forgetting how much range I have on this bow. Oh, it's just obstructed. There we go. <laughs> Puppers knows what he's doing, even even if I don't. Uh, Take down some of these guys. Sure, let's just let's finish off some of these uh, spiders. Maybe help protect uh, this village that's over here. That's full of frogs. Uh, so high like vill- <laughs> Oh man, that is awesome! Whoop, I should probably be doing something here. Um, gotta assist them. Let's uh, find out who has the heart above them. You over here. So, at Zanti, Zantli, uh, to the Krage were nothing more than slaves, not yet captured or killed. I've sworn to fight them to my last breath, but there are too few of us to keep up to the fight. We need to help. We need help if we're to survive. So what can I do to help? Uh, kill any crate that come across, invade their camps, and release my lost tribesmen, especially our young. Without them, we will be nothing. I don't want to think about what they you made to a druid even now. So, uh, looks like these guys are a friendly race of cool frogs. Look at these guys. Look at them. I was talking about being like the bird people. Let's let's. I want to be. I want to be one of these guys. It'd be cool to be a frog. I think that'd be super awesome. Um, let me revive these guys. So what do I need to do to help out, sir? Uh, so assist them by battling the the Krati crate, uh, rescue captive uh, highlight. That must be these guys' race's name. Uh, and repairing territory markers. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Okay, I'm just going to leave that because I don't need that right now. But there's so much awesome stuff you get to use throughout the, the world. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Repair this ground marker. Apparently I'm magic. I'm long now. Cool. Uh, let's see if there's other ones. It looks like, there, oh, it looks like there's a few to repair. Maybe this scares off um, the enemies of them. Makes them a little scared so they want to not come in here. But if they're destroyed, they will come. Oh, maybe that's it. Either Thank way. You for helping. Oh, you're. Oh, I'm sure you weren't thanking me. Um, another thing I need to do, guys, and I need to remind myself of it, is apparently a lot of the world events, um, when they go on, sometimes they'll lead to other events, or like they'll just lead to like funny commentary and stuff like that. So uh, I gotta make sure that I am watching, kind of staying and kind of seeing what's going on. Well. That's not what I wanted to hit. I don't want to hit three. There we go. There we go. Keep taking them down. Taking them down. Oh, it looks like there's some more over here. Oh, did not quite help with that one. That's fine. Gosh, 
gosh, this game is this game is just amazing. I mean, it's like a few years old now, like what four or five years old now, but it's still just a ton of fun. Ooh, new armor that I probably can't use. <gasps> yep, can't use. Let's salvage that. Bloop. And let's uh, deposit all my materials. Take you down. Oh, I gotta remember with this weapon. Uh, I, with this bow, I do more damage at range. I gotta remember that. There we go. Oh, what the? Well, if you're gonna be nice and close like this, let us switch to my sword here. Maybe the bee sting here. <laughs> I love how you like jump in and jump out on that one. It is pretty awesome. Whoop, take some items. Whoop, looks like there's some fighting going on down here. Oh, let's try rescuing some of them. They must be underwater then. Um, let's go under here. I don't have any underwater pets, which is something I do need to fix. Oh, let's, let's take this guy out. Where's the... Which one was I thinking of? Oh, there it is. The piranha one. Haha. <laughs> oh, I love the way that looks. It looks so awesome. That's uh, Ink Blast. Pew. Pew, pew. Do they have the piranha attack again? It is grapple you again. There we go. We're helping out. We're helping out. Let's destroy this cell here. is going to help attack the cell here. There we go. We're helping. Oh, you're welcome. Doing what I can to help out. Oh, no, you're dead. I need to revive you. I'm going to revive you. Let's do that. Whoop. Nope. Too far. Why are you going? Where are you going? Swimming underwater is... It's tough to, like... I actually have a... Sometimes I have trouble moving around a 3D space like this. Which is weird, considering my job entails moving around in 3D spaces. But, uh, hey, you know, stuff happens. <laughs> oh, let's take these guys out. Why aren't I attacking? There we go. What was going on there? Still not attacking. There we go. There we go. Now I'm getting my attack on. Let's do some healing. Uh, I might, I might die here. Oh, what was going on there? Why wasn't it? Why wasn't it healing me? Or why wasn't it? Uh, oh. oh, I rallied nice and quickly there, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Things are going sideways. Things are going sideways really quick, guys. Uh, nope. Wondering if that did some healing too, but nope. Oh, here we go. Let's heal again. We heal as one. We heal as one. All right, take some loot. Oh man, there's just so many of you guys. I need an underwater pet. That's what I need. I need myself some underwater pets, or just maybe just not fight underwater anymore. That might be the the, the safest bet. Just stop fighting anymore underwater. <laughs> Uh, let's try to revive this guy, though. Maybe I can revive. There we go. Finish the mission. Let's get out of here as quickly as I can. Because I clearly should not be underwater. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go, though. Let's see what uh, you have to say. So, uh, Dan with the... Great. Uh, so long as they live, times will be tough. That said, your deeds have erased or eased the, tithe, the tribe's burdens and giving us hope for fur further sunrises. Thank you. So let's accept that. And uh, let's see if you sell something cool. Oh, probably can't talk to you while you're fighting. Let's see. Uh, do you have something for sale? So precision... Oh, that's a, an item. Let's, uh, let's buy that. There we go. Did I actually buy it? 
I think I'm kind of in combat. Oh, I did buy it. I bought two of them, actually. Uh, let's see if I can sell one back to you. Um, nope. Okay, fine. Oh, this is right. Not no big deal. No big deal. Uh, there we go. So things are looking up. Got a little uh, thing for my spear. Shooting something I didn't mean to, which is uh, pretty commonplace right now. Keep hitting that hit, hitting that one button when I don't mean to. So finish that mission. Ooh, there's an island here with a vista on it. We need to get. We need to get there. There's this is a want. This is a need. Oh, the vista's up here. Let's swim on the surface of the water. Let's not go underwater, because underwater is deadly. Oh, and it looks like this is the way we got to go, is right up this rock here. This looks like it's going to be a nice, simple vista to find, which is good. Some of those vistas can be can be quite uh, quite the struggle sometimes. So that's... Uh, oh, this is going to be a tough one, though. Oh, yep, this is going to be fun, guys. So let's, let's take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. Um, Puppers, why can't you be a bird and just like fly me up here? Are you serious? Are you, are you, is there not another way up here? Come on, there's got to be another way up here. I, I'm just going to take a quick look around. Because uh, that is the only way up. Okay, this is going to be fun. We got this, we got this, we got this. Um, okay. Okay, no pressure. No pressure, Arlos. You got this. Let's fall down without even jumping. Okay, one more try. Um, if this is taking forever, I might kind of like fast forward or skip ahead here. But we shall see. There we go. On to that. Nope. This is going to be a pain in the butt. All right, so we're heading up to this vista. This, after all, all of this, this jumping and, well, okay, more like falling. Uh, this had better be the nicest vista in the game. Oh, boy. Okay. 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 We're getting there. We're getting there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Now your leg's kind of hanging off there. All right. Let's back up a little bit. All right. These little ones that are just ah killing me. Huh. Oh, oh, made it, made it. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at us. This is the furthest I've made it so far. Let's get up on here. Can I just can I just like walk on this one? Nope. Okay. Okay, things are looking good. Things are looking good. I'm oh, sorry guys, I'm getting I'm getting pretty excited here. Okay. Okay. Uh, there we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Did I finally make it? Oh my gosh, guys. Thank you so much for. Well, I mean, I'm going to cut out <laughs> all of my tries, but oh, that was like. I, I'm going to be honest, guys. That was like 12 minutes of me trying to do that. Oh, that is that is embarrassing. But thanks. Thanks for continuing to watch, guys. Let's, let's watch this vista. I want to see how beautiful it is. Oh. Uh, Actually, okay, that's kind of cool. I like that little, uh, little wall there. Oh boy, that was, that was well, totally worth the effort to get there. Ooh, I wonder if that door leads anywhere. That would be super awesome. Kind of zooming in on that door and that bridge. Hmm. The, the lead anywhere? Awesome. Hopefully. So, let me see here by my little map here. That's a lot of just over here all over and over again so that whole area was here right hmm i wonder what's going on over there but we need to we need to get over here we need to get to help uh you'll weaken the crate and recover so let's uh now that we spent all this time getting up here let's do a nice little cannonball off here let's just do that i'm gonna zoom out a little bit and cannonball splash okay good i was kind of worried i wasn't gonna hit land I was going to hit land and I wasn't going to hit the water. But uh, thankfully, thankfully I hit uh, hit some land there. Or hit some water. So, it's kind of a... Whoop! That uh, that just jumped in here. Don't worry, guys. It's going to be... I've got a new PC 
coming soon, hopefully. I uh, should be getting out to, to find. Going out the ground pieces, I'm going to build it myself. Should be a lot of fun. Oh, that's in the middle of the water here. Oh, maybe it's on the bridge. I'm going to head to the bridge first. Guys showing up, but there are some uh, little gliders. You have to wait till level... I think it's level 80 before you can use yours. So let's open up this copper mine. Grab a little bit of experience while we can. There we go. Head up here. Oh, you're not hostile at all, which is awesome. Neither of you. Even Oh, there's even a waypoint here. I do love me some waypoints. Is this... Uh oh, we got a we got a quest here. So bring Learn something new every day. Gotta bring someone's skins. Oh, and you're the heart. You're the task. Let's see what you gotta say. Uh, please help me. Uh, the crate of uh, or a constant threat, and I have to do something to help my people. What can I do to help? Uh, fight them. Uh, free my captured tribesmen. Show them there is still resistance. Bring and if you come across any spare uh, heckle armor, please bring it. Enemies. Uh, to me, the crate often steal our supplies during raids. I'll see what I can do. So, let's, uh, head down here. Who wants the items? That's what I want to know. Well, let's do some underwater fighting, because we all know how well this goes for me. Bring you to me. There we go. There we go. You are down. Try to shoot you too. I mean, it's nice that I got long range weapons, so I don't have to like get super close to them or anything like that. And I can just kind of like summon the piranha pool on them. There we go. Take you down too. But who wants the skins? That's what I want to know. I think summoning the piranhas is my favorite ability. <laughs> it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's take you down. We got some cages here. Uh, Nimros. It's kind of a fun name. <laughs> Nimros. All right. There we go. Take you down. What? Why am I not? Bring me crates. There we go. It does. That does so much damage to them. It makes it so much easier to take them out. So we helped you out. There's something in here. Oh, it's just like a light. Okay. But I do have uh, another person inside of this cell. Need to help out. Need to help out, guys. Let's heal a little bit while we can. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. But now I'm going to die. So could you help me? Because that would be awesome. Please help me. What is this one? There we go. Back. Rallied. Already. There we go. Take you out. Let's do some healing. Nope. Let's do this. I can't go on for long. No, I don't want to sell. I want you. There's just so many of them. Just so many of them. <laughs> Okay, well, at least I helped you with my piranhas. There we go. Uh, I actually did die. Darny, darn, darn, darn. Sorry about that, guys. Doing my best here. Uh, let's return to the waypoint. Oh, basket's over here. Found out who wants it. So let's head over there and give you the stuff. Um, this way. This way, guys. This way. I know where I'm going now. Whoop, well, you are a jungle worm that wants death. And it's okay, because I got little puffers with me. Puffers will save me. 
Puppers, why can't you swim underwater with me? Because that would be awesome right now. <laughs> uh, my little puppers. There we go. You are a jungle worm that I don't want to mess with. Let's keep heading this way. Let's see how many uh, the skins I need. Isn't there somewhere? I swear someone around here. Oh, over here. You want the skins here. So let's, uh... Whoop! Leveled up? Awesome! So let's uh, take a look at this quickly. Um, so, yeah, woohoo, you know what? The, uh, the crate are reeling from your short time with us. Thanks for to your efforts. The Hazup tribe now stands a chance. I'll send you a box of bugs if I had any to spare. So let's accept that. Also leveled up to level 15 here. So let's see what we get. So hero points, which is awesome. Uh, I got a new utility skill and I get a longbow. You are definitely a lot stronger than the longbows I have. So whoop, uh, inflict vulnerability, causes lightning strike, inflict. I'm going to cause lightning strike because that sounds awesome. Let's equip this bow. Let's equip that. Let's deposit materials. Bring let's, me uh, next 17, I get some hero points. With the blood of our oldest enemies. So let's talk to the scout here also. Where's the scout? There you are. Let's see what you have to say. The Lion Guard is supposed to keep the Lion Road safe for travelers and merchants. But Crate Bane Haven is stuck between the Slaver's Deep's crate and an increasing undead presence. It's like an endless battle here. Endless battle. Hopefully we can help out. I'm going to quickly finish this mission here. There we go. What if I'm all sneaky like this? Maybe they won't notice me. Oh, I remember I got a chance to inflict burning here too. Take you out. Come on. Come on. I just need a few more skins, so that's seven. Like a few more skins. Maybe like 10, 11, 12, maybe? Get some piranhas all over top of you. Oh, I didn't want the barracuda. I want you. There we go. You out. Going going better, going better. Actually see if that's enough here. Seeing how many more I need. Well, oh, might as well while you're here. Take you out. There we go. Piranha swarm on ya. Uh Piranha Swarm is awesome. Quite mean to do that, but that's fine. I'm trying to swarm on you also. Oh, look at that. I just love how awesome it is. It just looks cool. That's the biggest thing, is it just looks cool. Alright, so that should be enough skins here. Let's find out. And that'll get me some experience too. I've got some skins for you. Bring me crate skin. I have to wait a whole He's minute for the mission the to end. Uh, oh well, I'm waiting for the mission to end. I'm gonna pop up here. Whoop. On top of this rock, maybe? Yes. Hang it on top of this rock for a minute. Uh, let's take a quick look here. So I can add some more skins so I get our skills. So I can add some traps. Um, sick them. Your pet rushes your foe, revealing them and damaging, damaging increased damage. So summon a sun spirit that grants allies a chance of inflicting burning. Does it affect me also? Or is it just allies? Chance to apply burning on hit. Oh, it only lasts like a few seconds. Oh no, it, it lasts for a while. Okay. Does the sun spirit stay with me? Or does the sun spirit stay in place? Ooh, gold on this mission. Awesome, guys. So we get a bunch of experience here. I'm actually going to come and experiment on something. So is this going to run out now? Okay, so it did run out. 
So your sun spirit sacrifices itself, releasing the brilliant sun at your foes. Oh, okay, and then it blows up. Okay, cool. Awesome. So that's how that works. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. It's been a, a little bit of a learning curve. We learned some stuff. Uh, finished some missions, leveled up a little bit, but it uh, looks like we got another Vista here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, leave me a comment, especially if you guys have some tips. Uh, that really, really has been helping me out. So thank you again to 797 and to uh, Lysenthia. Uh, you guys you guys are rock stars for, for letting me, uh, giving me some uh, extra little tips and stuff like that. So uh, until next time, guys. Just make sure you keep your stick on the ice.